Right now, we uh, do understand that biofuels, energy reduction, and water are a key and hot topic. Uh, but one of the things that uh, we may not be too aware of is that there's one particular technology out there that's a barrier to these, and that's where we focused. And essentially what we focused on was a uh, solid liquid separations technology. Now when you look at the biofuels market or you look at uh, wastewater, uh, you find that uh, a centrifuge is used uh, actively in this uh, process and technology. It's energy intensive, it's inefficient. Imagine taking an entire mass of water, spinning it up in order to get accelerated sedimentation. It's a technology that's been around since the 1860s. So it's ripe for a revolution. And essentially that's what we've been able to do. We have been able to come up with a technology that's more based on nature. Give you one example, right now your heart is going to move 6,000 liters of blood, filter it, process it, with 40 watt hours, all right? That's low energy. We've been able to utilize some of the technologies there in order to create a revolutionary type of liquid separating system. When you compare our technology, and this is one of the reasons that the Advanced Research Projects Agency of the Department of Energy funded us, is you're talking about a cost reduction for something like a 10 micron chlorella, which is an algae, of dramatic proportions, $3,400 cost per ton, uh, and actually that wet material that comes out of a centrifuge is still twice as wet as what it comes out of our technology. And we're revolutionary in existing applications and also potentially new applications. We have got that traction. Uh, essentially, we did win one of the original ARPA-E uh, merit awards, so there were 3,700 companies that applied for these companies and organizations. They narrowed it down to 37 awards and we got the seventh highest award. We are excelling uh, as far as the, DAR uh, the ARPA E group is uh, looking at us. We have met every single milestone. In fact, we're ahead of them. The market size itself, when you look at filtration and separation, it is a pervasive market. You're talking about 22% of all energy in industry goes into some kind of separation technology. So there's a lot of equipment sold in that annually. And in the centrifuge alone market, you're talking about $2.2 billion annually. And when you open up new applications, new opportunities, you'll see higher sales of these kind of technologies in that marketplace.